Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Akuma MC Skyblock and in this video We're just gonna be expanding our farms and stuff like that Mainly our wheat farm and maybe you're gonna expand to some other things like carrots and stuff We'll have to see I'm pretty sure there's masteries and stuff So we're gonna go ahead and look over those too, but let's just get straight into it All right to start off I think I'm gonna go ahead and farm all the wheat that has currently been grown So let's go ahead and grab my hoe wherever it is and we only enchant we have on it is XP finder So we are definitely going to look forward to getting some more enchants in the future but let's go ahead and vault everything here and i think i have a wheat satchel somewhere and basically what that does is collects some of the wheat i think it's only at like 250 right now but we'll definitely take that it's better than nothing so we're gonna have that and then we have two pets let's go ahead and put the universal pet on which basically just gives us a boost to gems xp and skill boost so yeah and then we're gonna go ahead and mine all this i think the best way right now is just to mine like from the side like this it is probably the fastest instead of just going like standing on the actual dirt because that just take way too long so yeah i'm gonna mine this it's gonna give me a few hundred gems hopefully and some other stuff and it's also gonna give me xp which i really need xp honestly to get more books and stuff because right now we are kind of like we don't have a lot of xp and if we check slash ah if there's any even in here xp does cost quite a lot yeah four trill for 175 levels 1.2 bill for 100 levels yeah it's inflating a lot right now last time i checked it's only like 125 mil per like 70 levels of xp so yeah the xp price is inflating a ton so there must be like some new way of getting it. let's do slash or actually let's go into the satchel and sell so that was about 9k and then sell all of these that's about 6k and okay that's not bad i mean we're definitely going to have to expand this but now i'm going to check out the masteries so if we go into slash mastery maybe or is mastery yeah is mastery right now in order to unlock potatoes we need 10,000 wheat and right now we only have 2k so yeah we're definitely going to have to build a bigger farm if we do want to get to the potatoes unlocked and we'll also get sub boosters and stuff like that eventually so yeah then i might have to go ahead and make a bigger one i think it's just going to continue like put some water here another line here or more water i don't really know because i mean i do really like the current way we can do this where we just stand on the side here and start farming like this so i really don't know how we're going to build it but before i go ahead and start building a new farm or expanding on the current one i do want to go ahead and open up some of these crates so we're going to slash crates we do have actually we don't have a few, we don't have a lot but some storm keys not bad uh looks like we probably just got some gems and stuff from that one tempest key and 76 foot keys okay so let's take a look so so we got some tags we're just gonna probably just put all this in here we don't really need any of this and hope i need to make some space okay dungeon keys okay i want to really look at take out the take a look at the dungeon keys because we do have a ton and i think i might take a look at them in this video actually i don't really know but let's go ahead and store all these chunk hoppers and stuff we don't really need currently and wait unless we can actually hold up let me try something so if we currently have like i don't know if we could put another auto so actually that wouldn't make sense because all right i don't know what i'm thinking but let's put those um we have more spawners that we're going to go ahead and put into our farm that's definitely going to help us let's throw these tags and six value tickets for 31k is not bad at all some blaze spawners okay yeah we we did make a new blaze spawner so basically the blazes all spawn in here and we do have 42,000 in there so we do have enough blaze spawners for now i mean we probably expand if we get a better sword with more enchants and stuff but yeah definitely going to take it for now and i'm also going to go ahead and put all of these spawners into our farm so one ig not bad we do have a pretty good collection going let me put the rest of the enderman and creepers wherever they are at and yeah so we do have a good amount of spawners actually so we're definitely going to take that so i think i'm going to go ahead and take a look at the dungeons in a later video but currently i do want to go focus on the farm so i think i'm going to go ahead and expand it a little bit and it's just going to be very very helpful to us for our skills and just so much more in our masteries so once we do get our masteries leveled up we will actually be able to unlock potatoes and those probably sell for more and stuff so it's just like a continuous grind and we are currently farming skill six and once we get to 10 we'll get an eight percent crop drop boost 48 cloud keys and a 10x cow spawner so we're definitely looking forward to that and honestly a bigger firm will just help us get so much more gems and stuff like that so it's honestly going to be beneficial all the way around so we're definitely going to do that and i don't really know how i want to sort it out i mean we could go like this but this is kind of like inefficient i guess i mean we could have like a block of water right here and put blocks around it so we can just like fly around randomly and keep farming i don't really know i'll probably figure it out but i'll come back once i do and help yeah hopefully we do have a good form and yeah i'll be back so currently this is what we're working with we just placed down all the dirt and we're gonna go ahead and place down the water and start placing down the seeds and everything eventually when we do get to the carrots we can just replace the wheat seeds with carrot seeds so yeah it'd be basically a re re reusable farm so we're definitely going to take that and it's gonna be very very helpful to us in the long run and so i'm gonna go ahead and place down all the water and so make it into soil and place down the seeds and stuff like that and i'll be back once i do and we should be having a pretty good farm honestly okay so i finished putting down all the water and mowing down all of the soil or whatever the grass 
and now I just need to plant all the seeds. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's probably going to take the longest out of everything because I don't know, it's just going to take a while, but it's definitely going to be worth it in the end. Once we do have a pretty good farm set up and going, we're going to be able to get our mastery done much faster as long with quests and all those things that are going to be very, very helpful to us for us to advance on skyblock okay so we finished building the farm and it is looking pretty good and it's then definitely going to help us a ton but i think i'm going to go ahead and wait for it all to grow or i'm just going to continuously mine it i don't really know it's definitely going to help us a ton and we did expand it so much it's just going to help us so yeah that's pretty much it for the farm honestly i think we might go ahead and uh, sell these leftover seeds that i have and seeds only sell for one per so that is not a lot but we can also go ahead and upgrade, upgrade this wheat satchel if we go take a look it costs 250 gems per or no upgrade cost is 500 and gives us 250 more spaces and then 1k for 250 more okay that's kind of getting expensive and we don't really need it that much but you could just keep doing slash sell all so yeah we're gonna keep that for now and we do have this minion here uh we have to connect the chest to it so let's go ahead and do that real quick I don't even know how. Let me just find out a chest. Uh, Let's get two. And let me just put one right here maybe. Or like right here. Okay, so apparently just click the robot and click link chest and just click random chest. Okay, so I click this one. Uh, I think I'll have it expanded to a double chest. Um, Let me just do that real quick. And now we should be getting some blocks for mining. So we're definitely going to take that too. We haven't really did too much investing on that or too much looking into it that we could look into robots in a different video. But yeah, that's pretty good. And then, yeah, we have this farm going. And then while we have this farm going, we can go ahead and farm all this. And it does grow pretty fast. I think there might be a way in Ice Perch to actually go ahead and increase the growth rate. Yes, and we need to just harvest more crops. Okay, we're definitely going to work on that. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I think we're going to go ahead and farm our crops. And then we're probably going to have to farm like this or something like two at a time unless we can go like this or maybe something like this would work but i don't really know but we're just gonna farm all of them once they do grow and we should get a whole bunch of gems and stuff like that and we're definitely going to take that like this honestly is gonna help us a ton in helping ad us advance our island and stuff like that so yes yeah, actually a very very good step for us and it's gonna help us with our mastery cell boost and all that stuff it's just gonna help us make a lot more money and we just, just get a farming skill level up so let's go ahead and check actually we didn't get anything really from it so there's no point in checking it but we're just gonna continue farming and honestly i expect us if we keep mining this whole thing we're probably gonna get to farming skill level 10 in like no time so yeah we're definitely going to keep going and farming this while i keep leveling up and getting more gems and stuff and i'll come back once i do probably farm the whole thing i don't really know yet we'll see the only really problem i'm facing is if they aren't fully grown it will actually go ahead and break these seed that we do have to go and replant so we do have to just make sure everything is fully grown or everything that we're breaking is grown so yeah that is kind of a downside but it is definitely easy to fix we just have to wait until everything is actually grown okay so most of the wheat is mostly grown i think i'm gonna go ahead and form it now and i'll come back and i'll show you how many gems i made and i'm gonna sell everything and i'll just show you how much i've made okay so i'm done grinding it all and i think we did make around if you took in chat like 50k which is not bad at all and we did get about 3k gems and if you think that's like that it may not seem like a lot but they does grow back really really fast so it is definitely going to be helpful to us and we're definitely going to take it and honestly i mean there's some parts that we didn't mind as you can see like they're probably growing now but we didn't grind it all because if we did break it it would break the seeds actually and some of them were just unavoidable like this right here so yeah we're definitely going to have to try to find a fix for that or something like that but i think that's going to be it for today's episode make sure to like and subscribe for more future videos and i'll see you in the next one peace out